Hello everyone! Time for another Let's Play on the NES and it's going to be Kickle Cubicle. Not a really well known game. Or maybe it is, but just to a select group of people. It's a puzzle game with ice and vegetables and other stuff. There's really not much story. Basically, you gotta save a bunch of princesses and save the kingdoms. So let's just, uh, is there an intro or something? No, there's nothing. It's just the game itself. Then we'll just get started then. I'll explain more as we get into the game. You have to uh, collect money bags in each level and to do that you have to utilize the enemies and objects around you. Kickle can either drop a pillar, which blocks enemies and certain th objects, but he can also use his breath to turn enemies into ice. Like so. And then kick them around. And there you go. The game starts out oh so simple, but it gets really hard later on. But that's okay. It's a really good, really good puzzle game. Everything else there is to collect is just extra, like the ice, the the popsicles. It's just points. Another one done. Yeah, the first three levels are going to be really quick. Oh, the beautiful fanta fantasy kingdom is now under the rule of the Wizard King. The ravaging palaces were hidden and these islands were made to confine us. Kickle, please head back to the palaces and revive the fantasy kingdom. Yeah, there's four um, kingdoms in total. This is the first one, Garden Land. And in each land you have to clear all the levels and defeat a boss and save a princess. The P changes all the enemies into ice at once, I think. Yeah. If you have heard of this game or played it when you were little or have played it randomly in an emulator, then yay for you. Because it's not, like I said, it's not really well known. But I can tell you that, that this game took a lot of my childhood time, way back. Especially the last few levels, oh boy. Oh, I gotta wait for them to come back. They home in on you, but thankfully they cannot go di diagonally. I hate that word. They cannot go the way I just tried to describe. They cannot go left and right, up or down. An evil way to make sure they never come back is just do that. Ha ha. <clears throat> These enemies cannot break the pillars, but later on there are enemies that can. <clears throat> so it doesn't work on everything. Eggplants! Now time for level 5. I gotta move the mouse now and then because I don't use the keyboard. One up down there. Oh, these are springs. I'm gonna get the one up though. Small effort. And done. <sighs> I don't think I have to save state this game at all. Well, not now anyway. If you get a if you if you get a game over, you start at the level you uh, were before. Ah, a new enemy. That rooster can also kick ice blocks, so be careful. But you can destroy him, like so. I just throw in a bunch of blocks down there. No. No. He is evil and he will hurt you, so be careful. This game is a one-hit death game. If you can hit once, you die, and you have three lives at the moment. Score is just 
extra really. Doesn't do anything. New enemy again. It's a Tanuki, I think? If you change him into a block, he doesn't disappear. And if you hit him again, he comes back. See? He's a bit of an annoying jerk. No. Got that one. Got this one. And one over there. If you leave the ice for too long, it melts. And it, yeah, see, it came back to life again. No. No. No and no. So, that's the guy. Uh, do, 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 do. Really good music. Oh, he can break pillars. Good to know. Get away. Go away. Uh, no, I have to put this here and put that here. No, nope, that here and this here. And then we're done. I think I overcomplicated complicated that oh, solution there, but man. I just wanted to show you the creative things you can do with the ice blocks and pillars. It's gonna get a lot more creative later. Oh, this one's easy. I'm not quite sure what the what the blue blocks do, the, the blue squares do. Oh, I remember, you cannot make a pillar on that, that's it. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, pillar. There. Uh, you, go, no. Nope, over here, and then, okay, there we go. Don't need you, go away. Hello, and thanks, bye-bye. Kinda cruel, the island breaks, so all enemies just die or fall in the water at least. Pickles! Well, this is garden land, right? In the shape of a strawberry, too, or a peach, I can't tell. Oh, what is this? Ah, it demonstrates how the rooster can kick blocks. And now, gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna... There, and kicks it, and we can go in. Hello, die, and thank you! Radish, or turnip. I think it's turning. Yeah, it is. Six minutes left. I'm cruising through this. But yeah, the first level is really easy. First world, I mean. Robot! Oh no. Those spiky things cannot be killed in any way. And they, they destroy your ice blocks if you shoot them at it. Yeah, see? If you shoot them. You can, however, block it. But you cannot shoot them. I might actually do the entire world in one video, but the later worlds will take more than one video. I don't remember all the solutions. Oh, this one is kind of tedious, but not that hard. No. Hello, sirs. One, two, three, and done. Now you're thinking this game looks really easy, but just wait. Just wait. It's made by Irem, I think it was. I don't know. I don't know the company. Oh, you gotta use. Uh, Pillars in this puzzle. Take it and block it in again. Haha. -ha. That took like five seconds. Easy. But the first world is just really a demonstration of all the crap you can encounter later. Oh, puddles. Puddles, um. Uh, ice blocks cannot manifest on top of them. They shoot over it. I'll show you. If you shoot a block now, it will just pass it. See? Like that. And two more. Hello, rooster. Oh. He kicked the back towards me. That's nice. 
Potatoes! Yeah, three minutes and we're kinda almost done. Not sure if I can do the if, if I can do the boss though. Oh a bomb. That guy's a jerk. He explodes. Killing all the ice temporarily. If you are uh in that area, you'll die. No. He also kills any pillars and ice blocks you have in that area. And you cannot kill it. You cannot freeze it. You cannot destroy it with an ice block. Oh, I think maybe you can destroy it with an ice block, but you cannot kill it directly. Really annoying. Fish. This looks like a really hard puzzle, but actually, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. This is actually the first puzzle you have to really think. One more. And this is only the first world. It looks like I'm speedrunning this game, doesn't it? But I'm not. <laughs> Almost done with this garden land. Um. Oh yeah, this one takes a lot of shots, but it's not that hard. Do -do -do -do. Gotta shoot all of these. These. Oh, you jerk. The enemies cannot stand on the same square. They push each other out. See? That's problematic sometimes. Get back here. And now we try not to die. Eek. There we go. Onion. Yeah, I think I'll save the boss for the next video. I have about a minute left. The final level of Garden Land. Ooh, this one looks annoying, but really, it's not that hard. Starting from the third world, I think, you can encounter really tough puzzles. No. Stay cool, sir. No, and you know as well. I gotta stop here. I'll just finish it next level, the next video. See you then.